Hello, welcome back. But uh, in this video today, we're going to discuss the sebaceous glands. So sebaceous glands, they are an associative organ of the uh, of the integumentary system. So sebaceous glands, they're an epidermal derivative. They, uh, they do secrete sebum. That's the oil. Uh, we'll get into it a little bit more. Uh, the sebaceous glands increase the... Uh, sebum secretions and increased activity around puberty so uh, that's what that's what the oil on our face is is due to the sebum of the sebaceous glands but uh, sebaceous glands secrete sebum into a hair follicle which eventually makes its way to the surface of the skin so uh, sebaceous glands boom secrete into the hair follicle hair follicle takes that oil takes that sebum to the surface of the skin and the purpose of the sebum secretion is uh, a couple reasons so it's due it uh moisturizes the skin which prevents drying and cracking there so uh that's it's protects us it's a defense mechanism of sorts uh because obviously if we have drying and cracking that increases the risk of infection because uh areas of our skin are exposed then to the environment where uh, bacteria can grow fungus can grow not pretty stuff so sebum aids in moisturizing the skin to prevent that drying and cracking also creates a uh slightly the sebum is slightly acidic which creates what's called an acid mantle this acid mantle is a pretty much a layer of real thin oil that covers our whole body and it uh slightly acidic which does deter the growth of bacteria so once again this is a uh, protective measure uh our body's take is by producing this sebum here so think of sebum spacious glands is like a the, like the lotion covering the body that keeps the skin health, healthy and also destroys bacteria. So that's a pretty shitty analogy, but uh, it just gives you an idea. It's like lotion covering the body, keeps us moisturized, and also uh, is slightly acidic to prevent uh, bacteria from growing. So those are the sebaceous glands.